All right, so uh, let's start. Uh, so uh, welcome uh, everyone to uh, Calculus 3. Uh, uh, we start with uh, Chapter 1, uh, Internet Series. So uh, when uh, when we learn mathematics uh, in uh, elementary school, uh, we learn about addition of numbers, right? We can add two numbers like uh, one plus one equals two and uh, one plus two equals three, right? So uh, these are elementary uh, arithmetic operations. But uh, there are questions like, uh, very interesting questions like uh, what is uh, the result of uh, adding a, an infinite numbers of uh, numbers right? so uh, if we add one infinitely many times right and uh, what do we get right? And uh, there are questions like uh, one plus uh, one half uh, plus uh, one over four, which is uh, one over two to the two, plus uh, one over eight, which is one over two to the three, and so on. Uh, uh, what is the result of this uh, addition? Yeah. So we add uh, infinitely, infinitely many times. Right? And uh, there are questions like, uh, if we look at the numbers like, uh, uh, not a rational numbers, but, uh, sorry, it, it is a rational number. If we look at the numbers like what, 0 0.9999, and so on. Uh, is it equal to uh, one? Uh, is it less than one, or is is it equal to one? So uh, we want to uh, to answer these questions, right? So uh, for the first question, does anyone know the the answer? Infinity. Infinity, right? That's correct. It goes. Uh, one plus one equals two, and uh, if we plus one, one, one plus one, then it's equals three, then plus one equals four. All right. How about the second one? One plus one half plus one over four and plus one over eight. What is what is this number? Two. 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 Right, that's correct. Very good. And uh, how about the third question? Is it true or false? True. True, right. Okay, very good. So uh, you see that these these questions can uh, can be answered by uh, by uh, by an argument which is uh, quite intu intuitive but uh, not so uh, rigorous, right? So uh, we need some uh, language so that we can uh, describe uh, the solution more rigorously. So, uh, uh,
we need the language of uh, sequences and uh, series. You know? All right, so uh, when we study uh, sequences and series, they are even uh, more interesting questions, are uh, more difficult to answer. But uh, when we study sequences and series, we we see that uh, we have very interesting uh, identities like this, right? One plus uh, one half plus one third, plus one four, and so on. Right. What is it equal to? Right. And uh, we have uh, questions like one minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, and so on. What is it? Right. And uh, we have uh, things like one, minus one half plus one third and minus one four and so on right. that is it right. <laughs> and we, we will encounter many uh, very very beautiful uh, identities uh, uh, such as uh, this identity uh, One plus two square plus uh, one over two square plus one over three square plus one over four square and so on. Right. And then there's an identity like this. This is equal to pi square over six. Right. This is an identity which is uh, which was discovered by Euler. Right. Very very beautiful identity. Right. So uh, I remember in high school I. Uh, I, I think I read a book and I, uh, I met this uh, identity, very beautiful identity. Yeah. So uh, with the language of uh, sequences and series, uh, with the theorems that we will learn, we'll know how to answer these questions. Yeah. So, uh, Let's start with the definition of uh, what what a series is. So uh, I uh, I tend to use uh, different colors for, for when when I write. For example, uh, I use different colors for definition, uh, theorems, uh, examples exercises, formulas, so that you can, uh, you, can uh, you can see them more clearly. All right, so uh, let's start with our first, very first definition. Uh, uh, and uh, this part of mathematics is uh, actually very, very interesting and they, uh, they play a fundamental role in uh, analysis. Right? So what you learn is actually called calculus, not not analysis yet. Uh, the analysis that we look, that that uh, that people, uh, uh, the scientists use, uh, more rigorous. They have epsilon and delta and things so on. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get used to that uh, later on. Right. So uh, let's start with uh, the definition of a series of numbers. Right. So. Uh, So if we have a sequence of numbers, say uh, uh, un, right? If we have a sequence of numbers like this, right, then uh, we can have uh, we can form a formal sum, right? We can form a formal sum. We can take a u1 plus u2 plus u3 and so on. Right? 
So this is a form of sum. We can uh, we can write it uh, more sharply, uh, like uh, using the sigma notation. So sigma u of n is the form of sum. Uh, so uh, This formal sum is an infinite series. Right? So, uh, if we want to compute this number, we have to form the partial sums. Right? We form the partial sum, we call it S of n. Right? S sub n is u1 plus u2 to uh, un. Right? And uh, we check whether the limit of Sn when n goes to infinity is this. Right? So uh, if this limit is this, right? So uh, this infinite series we call S. Right? S stands for sum. Right? Uh, we say that uh, uh, the series, uh, the series. Uh, the infinite series S uh, converges. Right. And uh, if the limit doesn't exist, then uh, uh, if the limit doesn't exist, we say that the series S uh, diverges. Right. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's start with uh, the very first example that uh, that we saw that we saw uh, uh, at the beginning one plus one plus one and so on. Right? So uh, here u n equals one for every n right and if we have a uh, s n right we have a uh, u one is one plus u two and so on until u n right so uh, this partial sum is uh, n right so if we take the limit of this partial sum What is it, right? It's uh, the limit of n as n goes to infinity, right? And it's equal to infinity, right? So in, in this case, uh, the series diverges, right? And it diverges to infinity, right? So this is our first example. All right, so uh, we have a uh, We have our, our next example, uh, which is uh, a geometric series. Right? So, so. Uh, we have a uh, for for simplicity. Let us uh, start with a uh, a series of one plus r plus r square plus r three and so on. Right. So uh, in this case, we have a uh, u n right equals to r to the n minus one, right? So our series starts with one. Uh, 
Here, sometimes people take a series starting with zero. The index starts with zero. It doesn't matter. You can use either way. In this case, uh, we use uh, un equals uh, r to the n minus one. Right. So the partial sum right, equals uh, uh, the sum of n equals one to infinity. Uh, sorry, i equals one to n. Right. I equals one to n of uh, u i, right? So uh, it's the sum of uh, i equals one to n of uh, r to the n minus one, r to the i minus one, right? Does anyone know how to compute this uh, partial sum? What is it equal to? If we take the sum of r to the i minus one, i running from one to n, what is this partial sum? Does anyone know? It's, it's uh, one minus r to n over one minus r. Very good, thank you. One minus r to the n over one minus r. Right. Excellent. Now we take the, the limit of n goes to infinity of the partial sum, right? One to the minus r to the n over one minus r. Right? So uh, we suppose r is not one, right? Because if r equals one, then uh, we have one plus one plus one, and we we know the answer already. Right? So if r is not one, when does this limit exist? So uh, if r is when, not one, when r is less than one, uh, almost correct. And how about greater than zero? Right. Uh, but if r equals uh, negative one half, is it? Does does the limit still exist? If r is negative one half, minus one half, does it still exist? Um, no, it doesn't, because um, um, it depends uh, It depend on n. If n is odd number and if n is even number, it is different. So right, the right. limit doesn't exist. Okay. So uh, think about this. Negative one half to the n, right? If n goes to infinity, it, it goes to zero, right? So it still is this, right? I think we can consider uh, the absolute of a um, greater than one and um, smaller than one. That's right. Very good. That's 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 the correct answer. All right. All right. That's the correct answer. So it is this when uh, the absolute value of r, right? The absolute value of r is less than one, right? So uh, the series, uh, the series that we saw before, right? Uh, one plus r plus r square, right? So uh, the series, uh, this call this series S, right? So uh, the series S converges if and only if the absolute value of R is less than one, right? And uh, we want to compute this series as well, right? So uh, uh, in this case, uh, this limit uh, S equals the limit when n goes to infinity, 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And uh, this limit, uh, it has to be equal to 1 over 1 minus r, right? 
So this is called a geometric series. Right? So uh, this is the first example of a geometric series. So uh, if we compute uh, a more general series, if we take a, uh, say, uh, say uh, A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube and so on, right? So suppose that uh, A is not zero and R is not one, right? So uh, this, this, this series uh, is called a geometric series, right? This series is called a geometric series. Right. So uh, sometimes, uh, 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 sometimes I, I I will give some uh, terminology in Vietnamese for uh, uh, say uh, so that you you know both the terminology in uh, English and in Vietnamese. So uh, this series converges. Uh, uh, If and only if the uh, absolute value of R is less than one, and uh, and uh, the series is equal to uh, A over one minus R, right? Uh, So this is our first, our very first example of uh, a series uh, which we use a lot. Right? So uh, there's another example of a series that we will that we use a lot. Uh, we will uh, we we'll call it a P series. Right? Uh, we call it Euler series because uh, it was uh, maybe uh, invented, uh, discovered by uh, by, uh, by Euler. Right? So we take this sum, right? one plus one over two to the p plus one over three to the p plus one over four to the p. Right? We ask, uh, does this uh, series converge, and uh, what? When it converges, uh, what is it equal to? So uh, there are two questions. The first question is easier to, to answer, and that's the second example is, is very, very difficult to answer. Yeah. So uh, we call this uh, series, uh, say, S of P. Yeah. So uh, people often denote it as uh, this is called zeta, zeta of P. Yeah. So uh, this series zeta p converges, right? Converge if and only if p is greater than one. Right? So when p is equal to one, or uh, p is less than equal to one, uh, uh, the series uh, diverges. All right. So uh, for for this the result, uh, we see uh, the reason why it converges when p is greater than one uh, later on. So uh, until now we uh, we have learned the geometric series. Now we can see uh, more clearly. Uh, so remember remember before that uh, we have. Uh, we have uh, the series one plus one half plus one four uh, plus uh, one eight. Right? We want to see whether the series converges or not. Right? So here R is equal to one half right? and A equals to one. Right? So this series is equal to one A over one minus R. Right? So one minus one half is one half. So this is equal to two. Right? So previously we saw that this is equal to two, right? and now we we see the the reason why. Right? So you see that uh, our our language of uh, sequences and series 
uh, of partial sums allow us to compute an infinite uh, infinite addition. Uh, so you see that uh, mathematics uh, uh, is uh, very interesting. It, it introduces concepts that allows us to compute things uh, rigorously. Uh, so uh, sequences and a series allow us to compute infinite additions. Right. So uh, there's this uh, dictum that uh, uh, that you need to uh, you need to uh, remember uh, this uh, dictum that uh, you you see later on, right? So uh, a series is the number. This dictum will be very useful if you remember it. Right? A, dict a series is a number. Why, 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 why did I say, why, why, why do I say that a series is a number? For example, you see that uh, one plus uh, one half plus one four and one eight and uh, one over 16 and so on, right? This is a, an infinite addition, but actually it is a number. What is this number? It is two, right? And if we have one plus one plus one plus one and so on, right? So what is this number? This is actually the number infinity, right? We add infinity to our number system. Right? And now we add another num kind of number. So uh, like one minus one plus one. Uh, plus one minus one plus one minus one and so on, right? So, uh, this guy is, is a kind of non-existent number, right? non-existent number. Right? You, you can think of a, a number which doesn't exist. Right? Because, uh, because in this case, you see that uh, the partial sums S1 equals 1, S2 equals 0, S3 equals 1, and so on, S4 equals 0, and so on. So, uh, the limit of uh, s sub n of n go to infinity doesn't doesn't exist right? because it's just the sequence uh, one zero one zero one zero. It doesn't have any any limit. Yeah. So uh, uh, remember this uh, dictum: right? a series is a number. Right? It may be a uh, a real number. Uh, it may be a, a complex number. It may be uh, an infinite number. It may be a number that doesn't exist. All right, so uh, any questions so far? Thầy ơi, em không có câu hỏi, nhưng mà chắc là do cái đường truyền mạng nó kém nên thầy lúc thầy viết với thầy nói thì chỉ nghe đến tiếng rồi. Còn lúc nào thầy viết xong rồi em mới thấy cái nốt của thầy ghi ra. Thế thầy có thể viết trước xong rồi giảng đúng không ạ? À, ok cái 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 bạn nói là hoàn hoàn toàn đúng đó cái bạn nói là hoàn toàn đúng đó, tại vì uh, do 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 cái đường truyền internet thôi cái này thì uh, thì mình mình mình, mình cố gắng chịu uh, uh, cố gắng chịu khó không không biết à ok ok tôi 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 hiểu ý bạn rồi để tôi 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 sẽ tôi tôi sẽ cố gắng xem 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 cách 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 khắc phục như thế nào rồi cảm ơn bạn cái 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 này cũng rất là tốt rồi nhưng mà nhưng mà nãy giờ các bạn theo dõi có 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 hiểu được tốt không? Đã vẫn hiểu ạ, mỗi tội là nó hơi chậm cái nốt ạ. Đúng rồi đúng rồi đúng rồi đúng rồi cái cái cái, cái học online này đưa đôi khi nó có một số cái tôi 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 sẽ xem như mình có 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 cái nào khắc phục được không nha rồi 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 cảm ơn bạn cái 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 này rất là tốt cái cái câu hỏi của bạn rất là tốt All right, so uh, <laughs> let's uh, continue. Uh, so uh, we have defined a series is uh, uh, 
So uh, let's uh, continue with the uh, necessary condition or convergence. All right, so uh, so the most uh, the most important thing about a series, uh, uh, not not the most, but the first important thing about a series. So uh, two questions about a series that we need to uh, to answer. Two questions. Uh, So the first question is, uh, does a series converge or diverge? So uh, this is uh, the first question. The second question is, uh, if a series converges, then uh, what is it equal to? Uh, So uh, there are two questions, and more often the first question is uh, easier, and the second question is uh, more difficult. So, uh, so the second question is uh, often more difficult than uh, the first question. Right? So uh, we will try to answer these two questions in uh, in uh, in uh, in later sections, and uh, we'll have uh, many different methods to uh, to answer these questions. Right? So uh, these questions cannot always be answered, but uh, they can be answered in many cases uh, uh, for using different methods. Right? So uh, our first. Uh, our first theorem is uh, about a necessary condition for convergence. Yeah. So this theorem is called uh, necessary condition for convergence. Rồi, hồi nãy là có bạn nói là cái cái đường truyền nó chậm đó, thì bây giờ tôi sẽ cố gắng khắc phục bằng cách là tôi sẽ nói trước sau đó thì giờ tôi, tôi sẽ viết sau các bạn sẽ, sẽ, sẽ theo dõi được nội dung à. như vậy có được không bạn dạ được ạ rồi ok bây giờ tôi, mình tiếp tục nha so uh, we consider a necessary condition for convergence. So uh, we let uh, sigma of un n from one to infinity be a series. Yeah. You can call it infinite series or you can call it a series. Right? And in this case, you understand it as, as a number, right? A formal number. So uh, if this series converges, uh, say uh, you call it S, right? If S converges, uh, then uh, the individual terms U sub n uh, has to go to infin uh, has to go to zero. Yeah. So think about this. Uh, if you have a, uh, if you have the u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 and so on. Right? So uh, these are individual terms, right? So plus uh, u99, u100, and so so on. Right? So if this series converge, then uh, 
the individual terms have has to be very small later on, right? So uh, if you have something like a uh, If you, you have something like a 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on. Right? So this series can cannot converge because the individual terms going to is, is going to infinity. So this series has to uh, has to diverge. Because the individual terms uh, do not go to zero. It, it violates this, uh, this necessary conditions. Right? Or, or we have if we have a or if you have a even like one plus one plus one plus one and so on. Right. So you we, we saw before that, that this, is, this series diverges right? because uh, the individual individual terms uh, are going to one. They are not going to zero. Right? So uh, you see that the, uh, the theorem says that uh, if, if the series converges, then the individual terms go to zero. But that is only a necessary condition. If the individual terms go to zero, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it is not true that uh, the series converges. It must satisfy some other conditions as well. So, uh, if we have a, if we if we consider the sum uh, one plus one half plus one third plus one fourth and so on. So in this case, uh, the individual terms are one over n, right? And one over n goes to zero as n goes to infinity, right? However, this is a p series uh, with p equals one, right? So remember the p series one plus one to the two to the p plus one over three to the p and so on. So uh, this series diverges. Uh, you see, because this is this is a p series with p equals one, All right? So this condition, uh, u sub n goes to zero, is true, but uh, the series still diverges because it's it's only a necessary condition. Right? So remember that uh, this uh, implication uh, uh, s converges implies un goes to zero, right? However, uh, un goes to zero it doesn't imply that s converges, remember that, right? So this is only a necessary condition, not a sufficient condition. All right, so any questions? So uh, we can, uh, we can Add or multiply or uh, add or minus uh, two different series, right? So, uh, <laughs> so if we have two series uh, x sub n, and the uh, two series. Uh, Sigma sub S sub N or Sigma 
for s of n, right? So we can uh, add or subtract this series, this two series, right? So if, if the, the two series converges, then uh, suppose that it converges. Then we can add a subtract, right? Then, uh, Or we can uh, multiply a series by a by a constant. Right? So uh, suppose a constant k right, is a real number. Right? Then uh, we can have a series sigma of k x sub n, and this is k times the series uh, of uh, x sub n. Right? All right, so uh, let's uh, continue with uh, some theorem about the convergence of, uh, of a series. So previously we saw a necessary condition. Now we will see some uh, sufficient conditions. Right? And uh, our All right, so uh, our first uh, our first sufficient condition will be called the integral test, and it applies for positive series. Uh, so uh, let's uh, a series. Uh, Sigma u sub n right, is a positive series. So uh, if the individual terms are positive numbers, it can be zero as well. Right? So uh, actually, because it's equal to zero, I, I will not call it the positive series. I, I, I want to be more precise. So uh, let me call it a, a non-negative series. And uh, if... Uh, It, it will be called a positive series if uh, u sub n is uh, greater than zero. Right? So it's, if it is strictly greater than zero, we call it a positive series. So we have an uh, a theorem for positive series called the integral test, right? So uh, this will be a theorem, right? So suppose uh, f of x is a continuous function. Uh, and uh, it is defined it is defined on the inter interval 1 to infinity. Right? And uh, we suppose that uh, fx is a uh, non-negative, 
Yeah. And we suppose that Fx is uh, decreasing or actually is not increasing. So we will form a series by uh, first forming a sequence, right? So u sub n is f of n, right? So the theorem says that uh, if the integral from one to infinity f x dx converge, then the series Sigma u of n also converge. And uh, if the integral from 1 to infinity of uh, fx dx diverge, then uh, the series sigma u of n also diverge. So, uh, if the indiv individual terms are formed by uh, by taking the value of a, of a function which is uh, non-negative, then we can use the integral test. Mm -hmm. So, uh, remember that uh, the function has to satisfy the conditions of the theorem, which is continuous function, uh, fx is at least zero, and uh, fx is non-increasing. Uh. So if you, you want to use the, the theorem, you have to verify this condi these conditions. Uh. So uh, this theorem is actually very, very useful in many cases. Right? So remember before that we have the P-series, right? we have the P-series. So, uh, okay. So we have a uh, one plus one to the one over two to the p, and so on. Right? So uh, in this p series, the individual terms u sub n, right? equals one over n to the p, right? So uh, you can uh, you can put uh, fn equals fx equals uh, one over x to the p, right? Uh, so uh, u sub n will be equal to f of n, right? So uh, if the individ indi individual term, right, is uh, formed by a function, yeah, then uh, you can use the integral test. So in this case, fx is a is continuous function, right? So fx uh, fx is uh, non-negative, right? And you can see that uh, for uh, x equals 1, x, x at least 1, then fx is not increasing. Right? Uh, you can take uh, the, the derivative to see that the derivative is, uh, is uh, less than uh, 0. Right? So in this case, uh, uh, the p-series, we want to consider whether it converges or diverges. Whether it's converge or diverge. Right, so we will check the integral of uh, fx dx, right? If this integral converge, then the series converge. If this is inter integral diverge, then the series diverge. Right? So uh, this integral equals to the integral from one to infinity of uh, one to the x 
1 over x to the p dx, right? So, uh, can anyone uh, try to compute what this, this integral is? Does anyone remember? So one over x to the p, we can uh, we can uh, we can rewrite it as uh, say uh, say uh, x to the negative p. Uh, so uh, can you, can anyone compute this integral? Can anyone check whether this uh, integral converge or diverge? What is the antiderivative of x to the negative p? If p is equal to 1, then is the natural logarithm of x. Uh, say it again. So we consider a case of p is equal to 1 and p is different than 1. Right. It's the natural logarithm of x. That's very good. Uh, uh, x to the minus 1 dx becomes uh, 1 uh, uh, equals, uh, equals uh, log of x. Uh, and it diverges, right? And if p is not equal to 1, then so what happened when uh, p is is not equal to 1? The integral equal to x, x to the power of minus p plus 1 over minus p plus 1. That's very good. Uh, x minus p plus 1 over minus p plus 1, right? So, <laughs> minus p plus 1 over minus p plus 1, and, uh, and if, if, if in this case, if you plug infinity in, right, then you see that it, uh, it uh, converge when, when p uh, is greater than one. That's right. And it diverges when p is smaller than one. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. So you see that uh, uh, the integral from one to infinity x minus p d x right uh, converge when uh, p is bigger than one and diverge when uh, p is less than or equal to 1, right? So by the integral test, right, by the integral test, by the integral test, we will see that, uh, we see that the sum of 1 over n to the p right, has the same uh, convergence or divergence. Right? Converge when uh, p is bigger than 1 and uh, diverge when p is less than or equal to 1. Right? All right, so now you can see that uh, the fact that we uh, mentioned about the p-series before can be proved by uh, using the integral test. Right? So now this uh, we have proof that this is true using the integral test. Right? So you see that the integral test is very, very useful. And remember, remember, right? Uh, uh, so uh, uh, you need to uh, verify 
the conditions are the hypothesis before using the theorem. Right? All right, uh, so uh, so uh, the P series was discovered by Euler, and Euler is also for uh, when P goes two, right? When P goes two, we have the series one plus uh, one over two square plus one over three square plus 1 over 4 square, right? And uh, it is also Euler who discovered that who can uh, compute this series, which is equal to pi square over 6. And uh, this identity is absolutely beautiful, right? Because uh, on the left, uh, the left hand side is just uh, rational numbers, right? 1, 1 over 4, 1 over 9, 1 over 16, 1 over 25 rational numbers. But on the right side, uh, in, on the right side, you see that pi appears. Pi is an irrational number. So uh, this identity is, uh, is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, All right, uh, let's uh, Is there a general for formula for P series? Say it again. Um, is there a general formula for P series? Uh, mm, yes, there is. There is there's a very, very general formula. But uh, I will not introduce it here because I don't remember the formula. If you want a, a general formula, you can search. Uh, uh, I think I think uh, uh, there is a, a general formula for the series. Uh, uh, 1 over 1 over 2 to the 2k plus 1 over 3 to the 2k plus 1 over 4 over 2k uh, and so on. And these are actually called zeta values, right? Very, very interesting things, right? Very, very difficult to prove, uh, uh, right? You can search it on uh, Wikipedia, right? But uh, yeah, I, I don't remember the formula. Uh, you, you need to check the Wikipedia. All right, so uh, we have a uh, we have this integral test. Uh, let us have a 10 minutes break and then, and then uh, uh, it's 9 9 9 a.m. now we come back at uh, we we'll come back at 9 uh, at uh, 10 to 9 right uh, 10 minutes later so uh, let's uh, let's have a break I'll, I'll stop the recording